So if you've been to any sort of car event lately, whether it be a car meet, car show, track day, what have you, you've probably realized that air suspension is literally everywhere. Unless you grew up in a small town in northern Wisconsin with like 2,000 people and the only thing people drive are rusted K1500s and the car scene is absolutely like nothing. But anyway, but the truth is air suspension is everywhere and it is becoming more popular and it is becoming available for a variety of different vehicles. I mean, even like an Infiniti Q50. I don't know why, but I mean, Max likes it, so I guess we'll just go with it. But I'm Jails from Fitment Industries and today we're going to go over a couple things that you probably didn't know about air suspension. So the first thing you probably didn't know about air suspension is that it's actually been around for quite some time, like 1920s. Like, I sh** not. 1920. Now, of course, it was nothing to the extent of what we have today for air suspension, but the idea was there. This crazy Frenchman named Georges Monsieur, or however you say it, I'm not French, I don't speak French. He owned a car company and manufactured cars from 1920 to the early 1930s, and instead of putting coil springs in his cars, he decided that he was going to put what he called gas bubbles for suspension in his vehicles, otherwise, as we know, airbags is what we call them. And since then, air suspension has been involved in a lot of different things, from cars all the way up to even suspension components in larger aircraft and it has developed into what we know and love today the second thing you probably didn't know about air suspension is that it's actually quite functional and what I mean by that is we've been seeing more and more time attack cars track cars and even drift cars using an air suspension setup and they're doing quite well we look at time attack champion Cody miles and his Subaru SCI and he is running airlift performance suspension on his car so the whole thing about airbags being specifically for show cars is well it's just false information. If we actually take a look back in the history of airlift performance, we see that they actually got started in the stock car racing scene way back in the day. So basically what we've come to realize is that air suspension has allowed for quick and easy adjustability at the track, and it has proven that it can perform just as well as coilover. So the next thing you probably didn't know about air suspension, or at least I didn't know right away when I was first looking at getting a set for my car, is that when you go to build a setup for your car, that there are options for different size airlines. You'll usually see the standard quarter inch inch airline, three eighths will be the next step up, and then even up to a half inch is available for some systems. But what really is the difference? Why do they offer all these different size airlines for air suspension? Well, basically, if we think of it this way, an air suspension system works by sending air from the tank through an airline into the airbag. So the bigger diameter line you have running from your management to the airbag itself, the more air you're gonna be able to put into that bag faster. So basically it's gonna fill your bag up faster and let it deflate faster. So if you're looking to build an air suspension setup for your car and you want it to get to the next position faster than it normally would, you'd probably be looking at going with a 3 8 inch diameter line instead of the standard quarter inch. Or if you really wanna go for it, you can go up to half inch if you're feeling crazy. I don't, I don't know why you would. Just remember that the bigger size diameter line you go with, it's going to be a little harder to feed that throughout the car when you're tucking it up all nice and neat. And then the final thing you probably didn't know about air suspension is that, well, we sell it over at www.fitmentindustries.com. You can head over there and build a kit for you and your car, and then you can post up the pictures on Instagram and get that thing that Alex likes to call clout. I, I still really don't know what that means, but it gets said around here a lot, and at this point, I'm just too afraid to ask. But I hope this video gave you guys a little insight into air suspension and cleared up any questions you may have had. But don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. The rest of our team should be back from SEMA soon. I hope, anyway, I hope they're coming back. But I'm Jealous from Fitment Industries, and we'll see you later. Peace.